Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and uh, please uh, let us have a nice conversation together and not use a bad language. Today, our topic is about destiny. Uh, destiny is something can be very confusing for many. And actually, you know, for me, I thought about this uh, idea or this definition a uh, long time ago, you know, since my early, I mean, youth. Uh, destiny is something uh, mentioned by many, by many people around us. And actually, maybe we hear it sometime even every day. Uh, so first of all, what is destiny? Um, you know, according to definition, destiny is something you have nothing to do with it. It's a plan, and this plan is going to happen anyway in the future. So you like it, you don't like it, it is there, it's going to happen, and you can't change nothing about it. And I thought about it, you know, uh, uh, carefully, uh, because, you know, when you are a person who believes in God, uh, a person who believes in uh, like there is God who made the plan uh, sound like you know those who believe in God they are more to accept destiny but actually I found that this is not really too much accurate um, a lot of atheists believe in destiny so what make people believe in destiny and I found that the answer is very simple <clears throat> you know when you are weak when you are weak you find sometimes that things happen, you choose or not. And because those things happen, you choose or not, you believe in such an idea. I, I, which means I'm saying that somebody, somehow, one day, he created this idea. This idea did not come from nothing. This idea come from uh, our practice of life. Like, you know, I am going in the, uh, I'm going in a road, <clears throat> This is my life, and the life have directions, and everybody have his own direction. And, you know, for me, I end here because it was my destiny. So it sounds like a comforting idea. So I don't blame myself for what happened. I will not even think about blaming myself or, you know, because this is destiny. Even that can be very comforting for somebody is a criminal. I can kill you. And I say, this is my destiny to kill you, and it's your destiny to be killed by me. And actually, we find that in many religion. As an example, you know, uh, Islamic religion adopt destiny as a very important part of the belief, which means if you don't believe in it, you are not even a Muhammadan. And according to Islam, that before you are even created, Allah, he wrote for you your destiny, uh, when you were just a sperm and this dist this uh, destiny no one can change it. It's just uh, a decision made by Allah. It's a decree Made by Allah and nobody can change that destiny now I find this idea is very false and I will explain why Somebody might say to me. Well, uh, the Bible will speak about destiny. No, the Bible will speak about different kind of destiny Somebody will say to you isn't it God? He knew those who speak about the chosen one Well, they are chosen one all right. Well, this is not really a destiny because even the chosen one can be, uh, they can reject to be chosen. As an example, uh, the Messiah, he chose a 12 disciple. One of them, he chose not to be. All right. And he betrayed the Messiah. So being a chosen one does not make you, uh, in a Christianity, uh, a person who is uh, driven by a plan. And this plan strip you from your rights to be free thinker free decision uh, responsible for what you believe or what you do so Christianity is totally is not really in any way of approval of destiny there's only like one destiny we can say in Christianity is exist that everyone who is born is going to die that is a destiny of death like this is that there is an end uh, otherwise, you know, like God when he created us and he decided no, we will not live in heaven He did not make us uh, With features let us say the creation features 
to be able to live forever. We will be infected by illness, diseases, ages, etc. So, but this is even this one. I don't find it as a destiny as much it is a, let us say, a natural thing happening. So, like this, uh, we live in a world which is uh, uh, governed by natural things will happen around us, and those natural things can change. You know, uh, like now, as you know, uh, because uh, health is more advanced, etc. So the average of living jump from being 55, 60 to 70, 80, uh, even 90. So uh, uh, even the, nat the nature which is driving us that no matter how much you try is going to end in, in one day, you will die. But even that can change, you know. So it's not really a destiny. It is different thing. And when I say different thing, I mean... Uh, it's something natural and destiny have nothing to do with it. As an example, somebody will say, well, I'm born without a choice. No, there is a choice. But the one who made the choice in this case, it was someone else. Uh, your mother have sex with your father and they have you. <laughs> as simple as that. So, and uh, the reason you did not make a choice because at that time you would not exist. <laughs> so we cannot say that is your destiny, no. Because, you know, destiny is about somebody planned for you even to exist, you know, but nobody planned for you to exist. Maybe even your parents did not even plan for it. I mean, maybe they have sex, but they did not really want to have a child. So uh, somebody might say, well, you see, like they have sex, they don't want to have a child, but they have, a, this is a destiny. No, this is a natural thing. If you don't have sex, it will never happen. As simple as that. So by by choosing to have a sexual relationship with a person you choose willingly whatever will outcome will come from this relationship you might get aids you know <laughs> you might get a sexual disease uh, you might uh, have a child from this relationship so this is not really destiny but i find that destiny is very comforting idea, as I said, to many people, because I can drive my car in the speed of 100 kilometer and then hit somebody and then he die. And then I don't blame for myself for driving fast. I blame destiny. I says, well, you know what? If it's not God will, you will not die. You know? So instead of blaming myself for being foolish, or let us say I drive and I drink or I drive and I text and then I hit somebody. And then instead of saying I am the one to blame, I say it is destiny. So destiny is a very comforting, it's like a drugs. Destiny is, a, is an old ancient drug. People always use to make themselves believe it doesn't matter what you did. Don't blame yourself for what happened. It is destiny. You know? So, uh, you know, you might suffer with, a, with, a, with something. You might struggle with something. You might marry a man and you don't want this man. You don't love this man. You say, it was my destiny. Him, a man, he marry a woman, he, maybe he don't like this woman. And he find out that it was a wrong decision. So instead of being responsible for what happened, he say, it is destiny. So destiny, I, I, I believe, it's a, it's a kind of immature a human being looking for excuses. When you are immature, always you blame someone else something else it doesn't matter what it is <clears throat> you know here this is a website let us say here we go i found a, i found a picture actually fit perfectly with the with what i'm trying to say <laughs> yeah actually yeah this one actually look at this exit so when you are uh, uh, you know looking for an exit exit for responsibility uh, exit for blame exit for uh, uh, you know, feeling or feeling guilty, feeling bad. Uh, so right away you will find an exit, and the exit is easy. You know, it's a destiny. No, and I find that in the Middle East every day in our life in the Middle East. This is why the Middle East will never be something because uh, because of the idea of destiny. So if somebody was walking in the street and he fell in the sewage hole it's not because the city is not fixing it for the last 10 years no it is his destiny 
So you cannot blame the city, you cannot blame the government, you cannot blame nobody. It's his destiny to fail. God, he wrote for him, you will die in the sewage. That's it, what you can do about it. <laughs> so I find it a very, uh, uh, very immature idea. And, you know, this is why Islam adopt this idea. Because uh, Islam is an immature uh, cult and uh, like born out of many cults around it. And uh, because of that, this idea of destiny became a very important uh, belief as an out, uh, uh, like let's say, exit of responsibility. You know, uh, if uh, if you remember in the Quran, where uh, Allah He says to the Muslims, "Wama ramait wa in ramait wa inna Allahu rama." What does that mean? Let us see. And you you will see what I mean exactly. Very very scary idea. Chapter eight verse uh, uh, seventeen. It says, "You killed them not, but Allah He killed them. You you did not shoot at them, but Allah who shot them." So the idea behind this is, you will not need to feel guilty about killing any. It's 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 destiny. It's their destiny. You know, it's a destiny preset, and even it's not you even who killed them, it's God who killed them. So this destiny can be used as a drug, very effective a drug, to make you feel different. Let us say it's a painkiller. It's a uh, it's a, it's to run away from solution at the same time like a destiny will make you not even to think about a solution because it's a destiny. You know what I mean? As long as it's a destiny, then what solution? There's no solution for destiny. It's a destiny. Whatever I do is going to be what it is written for me. You know, this is what the this is what destiny is about. So, uh, destiny is going to kill your brain. Will make you not to think, not to plan. Not to be responsible and not to be successful because all of this will end to one thing you will end as uh, <laughs> it's just like a toy in the uh, in the chest like somebody move you around so you are no one and you do not need to think about it and you do not need to think how to be successful because it's your destiny to be successful or not right <clears throat> Uh, so I believe that we should not we pray if you already have a set destiny why pray if you already yeah exact you see even even the word of prayer is very funny if you believe in destiny because you see the Lord he says it clearly in the Bible uh, you know uh, not everyone says to me Lord Lord but the one who do his will so there is two will for salvation you accept what the Lord he says this is the terms and conditions or you do your own will whatever it is but it might be that even it's the, the Lord will to go to salvation it might be this is your will too because at the end of the day if you agree with the ethic that's mean we have in total agreement which means it's the, the will of the Lord is my will too and then I agree with it and then I go and I am saved so uh, in Christianity for sure it is always about your own choice uh, you know <clears throat> we can say that God he made a law and says don't do this and don't do that but this is not a destiny really the destiny is to obey or not you know I mean you make your own destiny if we can say so so you disobey you choose it's a free will it's like you know I have you I invite you to my house and I say um, don't get out from this door if you get out, I will never let you get in. You say, I don't care. I'm leaving. Okay. So that is not destiny. This is your choice. So for those who believe in destiny, you should think carefully and you should be more deeper. Destiny is very destroying idea. Can be destroying for your family, for your success, even for your love. Because if even if, if uh, there is two people who love each other and they want to like get married or etc. So they say, if it's our destiny, we will stay together. That means they do not need to work in their relationship and they depend in something called destiny. But this is not true. You see, 
I can plant I, I will give an example if I if I bring uh, let me use the sea the sea uh, uh, example imagine yourself next to that sea all right and you say to yourself it's if it's destiny I will be able to cross the sea but you never make a boat <laughs> You never even ask a, a ship to stop for you. You are just sitting there and you are thinking that destiny is going to make you cross the sea. That will never happen. So uh, uh, you have to be smarter than those who believe in this destiny. This is just a, a drug to make you relax and not to think about improving your life, to fix problems you have in your life. So like if I have a problem in my roof right now and I have a leak, is that a destiny? Because if you believe that everything happened <laughs> as a plan, that's me. <laughs> Why I should fix it? <laughs> God who made it, God he fixed it. Otherwise, I should not fix it. You know what I mean? Uh, as an example, you know, people they believe, uh, uh, you know, during like during this is through a thousand of years, uh, when there's a flood, you know, and I'm not talking about the flood of Noah where God destroyed everything. Uh, uh, even if there's a flood, uh, so they refuse to build a dam in the front of the flood or to stop the flood. Why? Because if you do that, you are stopping or you are fighting the will of God. God, he made the flood. So you want to stop the flood? Are you crazy? You know? But all of us, we knew that this is not a smart idea. Uh, you can You can even redirect the river direction. Not only you stop the flood. You can change the direction. Uh, you can open tunnels between two seas. Uh, you can dig for water from the ground. You can make the ground die. Uh, you can destroy the earth. You know, we can use nukes. So uh, a human being is capable of doing many things if he want to do it. And a human being, if you believe in destiny, he will do nothing. So always, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we think of destiny as a solution of our failure and that's why I think actually I, I notice that those who believe in destiny mostly is the one who um, let us say uh, they are not successful you know when they are not successful and this is a very this is a normal thing we do even those who they are Christian supposedly if something happened bad he would say God want that to happen but if something good happened, he would say, it's me. I am the successful person. I did this. See how smart I am? So when he is, when he faced a failure, he blamed God for it. And when he faced a success, he claimed that he is behind the success. And here, this is like a double standard, you know, a hypocrisy. Uh, but the fact, uh, uh, you know, this is not what really happened. If it's a success of a job, even success of a job, you know, we can say, uh, let me explain to you in, I'm trying to find an image which can be useful for us. Give me a second. Okay, something very simple. Uh, this is a crossroad. <clears throat> This is a crossroad, very simple a crossroad, you know. And it's like you are surrounded by water from every direction. And there is three cars are driving in this road. Three, not one. One car is coming from this direction. And one car is coming from this direction. And one car is coming from here. It's very high possibility that we will have an accident if none of those who they are, uh, uh, like, uh, let us say, driving, they want to stop and be sure that there's nobody is going to cross the road here during and the time he is crossing from this side or this side or from this side to this side. So is it destiny that he came in the same moment I am crossing? No. 
This is not destiny. This is things happen. Uh, have nothing to do with me. He is driving independent, independently, and I'm driving in an independent uh, uh, decision. And what happened that the, it's at the wrong time that both of us we met in a point where he is coming and I am coming, and we, this is not destiny. It's a decision made by both that they will not be careful, and maybe at least one of them is not careful. And the other person, he drive by and he hit the other person. So then we say uh, the person, like uh, somebody die, and we say this is their destiny. This is not really destiny. This is a mistake of a human being. And let us say some circumstances happened that you are coming in the same time where he is coming. But this is not his God and your God, or if there is one God, uh, ag agreed that I will make those two people meet here and they will hit each other. You know, God is not is not so shallow uh, to be part of this uh, uh, silly, uh, you know, way of thinking. You know, imagine like God who created the whole universe. He is thinking, I'm going to make this guy a drive in this moment of this time here and hit the other guy from me. I mean, this is this is very naive thinking, you know, to think about it in such a way. So, you no, know, what happened that he is, he is coming. And, you know, he did not stop. There is a stop sign here. He did not stop to see if there's anyone coming across. So he decided to continue. And the person here, he had the right to keep crossing because he's a straight road. So he keep going. And then you hit him. And then bingo, we have an accident. But if you believe in destiny, that will make you avoid thinking of being guilty. Because this is a plan of God. Or let us say, uh, uh, unknown power planning for us if, for those who call themselves atheists you know so this is have nothing to do with God this is have nothing to do with any uh, power it's about uh, you know we live in a planet not we are not living alone and I'm not the only one who have cars the second you jump in your car you agree that you might have an accident because the road is full of cars and those who they are driving, some of them they are bad in driving, some of them they are drunk, some of them they are taking hashish, some of them they are texting, you name it. But blaming destiny, as I said, it's a very easy solution to get out of the blame of yourself. All right? Well, I don't know who believe in it or not. Obviously, there is many religion believe in this, uh, uh, this silly idea. Uh, but but this is should not be really part of our belief uh, because this is will will not like, will not make you successful in your life but, let, let, think about it this way if it's destiny uh, if it's destiny to be a doctor so why I need to go to school <laughs> you know what I mean if it's destiny to have a, a, a degree, whatever the degree, why well, I need to go to school? It's destiny. I will have it anyway. You know? So, I mean, this is a very silly idea. Uh, there are things can happen in the same time. Like I say, uh, somebody is uh, fighting with somebody, shooting the other person. It happened that you are walking by, you get the bullet. But this is not your destiny. This is a coincidence of things happening at the same time. And to say that those coincidents happen because it's a plan, that is very silly. Because uh, if those people did not fight and maybe never met before, then you will not be dead. And that can be changed, you know, can be changed in a second. How, uh, like how many, how many things happen around us every day in our daily life and we never even remember them, right? Because nothing happened, right? I mean, but there is things happen, but they are not serious. And because they are not serious, we don't count them as we count them as destiny. But if you think about it, if you believe in destiny, that's mean even the silly thing you do, it's a destiny. Watching a YouTube is a destiny. You know what I mean? If you believe in this destiny madness. If you brush your teeth, it's destiny. If you go to the bathroom, it's destiny. Right? The destiny of love. Well, I don't know what they mean by destiny of love. You see, God, he created us in a certain way. And uh, this is the only thing I can say, that this is a design. And uh, let us say, 
I'm not really involved in it, the, the maker who made it this way. But uh, even that design, as you see, it's a free. You don't need to, I mean, you find a human being who, who loved, uh, you find a human being who full of hate, correct? So if the designer is one, still if, if, every, every creature of us is free to be as he wish. There is a human being who is very peace, peaceful. There is a human being who is very violent. Correct. So you notice here that every single thing in us, you know, uh, uh, and this is a uh, this is amazing that we are not machines, who they are programmed, and this is why I reject destiny because if you are programmed, then uh, uh, everything happening around you is not fair. Because the one who programmed me is responsible for what I do. So why uh, why somebody believe in hell and heaven if if his program if there's a destiny this is silly isn't it so this is why I find Islam not not uh, not a mature religion Islam is immature cult so uh, uh, if you believe in destiny you are immature because then uh, heaven and hell should not happen exist even God should not be exist because it's destiny for him to be God is destiny for me to be not <laughs> you know so we need to be we need to be smarter than this and we do not need to be fooled the uh, and this is why in Christianity uh, you will be judged by your free will not by your destiny it's your free will decide where you will go what you will be not being uh, uh, you know uh, you know believing that somebody made me uh, a murderer no that's not true it's you who made yourself a murderer or let's say sometime uh, you became something because of environment around you but still this is not your destiny let's say uh, there is influence of things around you you know but still you can resist still you can be different this is why not everyone is born of the same situation he is the same person as everybody like you might find somebody is born in a house which is have history of prostitution but then she chose to be a totally different person, you know. So, uh, destiny is a fake idea. Uh, used to control people, to make them believe that they can change nothing of their situation. And uh, actually, even kings, they use those ideas. You know, like when the Bible speak about uh, 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 like uh, kings and God. So Jesus says, you know, like give to what to Caesar to Caesar and what to God to God. Uh, some uh, government in the old days, they used to use this. So they say to them, see, even Jesus says, give to Caesar what to Caesar, you know. Uh, but that does not, tr not really true. Uh, this is not what Jesus meant. If you remember John the Baptist, he paid his life opposing a king and he cut his head off. So if somebody want to use a, a religious uh, scriptures for propaganda, certain propaganda, he can, you know. Oh, what you need to do are just, are just a bunch of corrupt priests. They sponsor your idea and we, here we go. We, you know, we go, we go for it. But the fact the Bible is full of example. The Bible is a book is not is not one line, right? So you have to uh, you have to take it uh, the whole book into consideration, not just a two statement. Um, yeah, for sure. You can leave a comment later for topic, and I will I will see if it's uh, good for us. Uh, anyway, so destiny is not really is not really true. Uh, but I can accept destiny if you think about it in such a way, like like as, as the following. Let us say, uh, I don't believe in destiny that there is somebody preparing those things for me. No. But let us say, it's a coincidence. It happened. Many things happen in the same time. And because of those things happen in the same time, those things affect me. But this is not really what destiny is about. Uh, like if an earthquake happened, you know, earthquake happened, is that a destiny? No. No. The earth, the same as anything of us. You see, if you if you eat the wrong food, you throw up. So let us say the earth is not comfortable and the earth is thrown up. 
<laughs> this is why it's not always shaking so it's not really what they say uh, be aware of uh, uh, be aware of this uh, such a belief uh, because that belief can really uh, hurt you you know it might be look like comforting somehow for many people like okay I will believe in destiny and then whatever I do in my life uh, you know uh, I will feel uh, I will feel better because at the end of the day it's not me who choose uh, so if I am you know if I am successful not successful who care it's this destiny so let us say destiny is is a good for the lazy good for the fool good for the uh, the one who could not accomplish things in his life uh, uh, good for someone looking for an exit uh, good for someone he feel guilty and he's trying to find a way to get away from his guilt uh, but it's not good for me all right anyone have a question You know, there is a joke about about uh, about a guy. It's a joke. It's not like uh, uh, so. Uh, this guy every day he pray to God. Uh, I want to win the lotto. Please, please God, please let me win the lotto. Please God. One year, two year, every day he pray the same prayer. Please God, let me win the lotto. The angels they they felt sorry for him. After 10 years, 15 years, 17 years, 20 years, every day he is praying the same prayer. And the angels, they spoke to God. They said, God, this look at him. Poor guy. He's praying every day to you. Let him win the lotto. <laughs> and God said, well, I will make him win the lotto, but shouldn't he buy the ticket first? <laughs> you know what I mean? The idiot he is praying to God to win the lotto, but he is so cheap to the point he don't want to buy the ticket. So God said, Okay, I will make him win the lotto, but shouldn't he buy the ticket? Hello? But he don't want to buy it. So if this thing is about I will win the lotto, well then don't buy the ticket because you will win it anyway. Why you want to spend even a few dollars? You know, you will <laughs> so you have lot of the lottery, yeah. So you know, human beings sometimes can be silly. And the way he think and the way he uh, he uh, uh, he tried to find as I said like a, 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 a way of out of his channel uh, and uh, yeah, this is why even some people they think of uh, committing suicide because it's an exit you know exit of this is your destiny it's, it's I want to go there so uh, uh, don't be don't be shallow don't be shallow and don't depend on destiny you have to depend on yourself you have to be smart you have to think about tomorrow and you have to think about today and you have to think about improving your relationship with people around you because nothing will change unless you change it everything around you will not change you see maybe uh, I'm not in control of the weather but I am in control of the heater right now we have a lot of snow outside but if I say <laughs> I wait it's my destiny to be hot I <laughs> know it's not you will freeze so you have to be smart my friend don't be shallow don't be silly don't be stupid and don't believe in those things people try to make you uh, believe in it uh, just I wanted to share this uh, little short video with you about this issue uh, always try to be a, a, you know, a deep thinker person in anything you do uh, <clears throat> you know in relationship marriage uh, children's uh, work uh, even your with your neighbors what do you want from people around you what do you want from what you what do you want people to do to you you know if you want to have a new friends what do you want from them exactly what do you expect uh, what you are looking for some people they do things they don't know what they are doing they have no idea I mean they just go it's like a uh, you know it's like a, a, a puppy uh, he don't care for the ball unless you throw it you know this is the only thing getting excited if the ball is there he don't he don't care for it but you take it you throw it away he go crazy and his tail is shaking all right so you do not need to be a puppy programmed 
animal animal is a is a kind of uh, let us say uh, he, he's limited of his thinking this is why all of them they get excited for the same thing but we are a human we are different we are way superior in our intelligence and in our thinking and our ability so uh, uh, you have to be a person who think about what you need to do and how you do it and how you you know how you reach to, the, to your goal and what's your goal but living just to live yeah I mean you will go nowhere because you are just living to live what you expect from tomorrow there's no tomorrow you are not even planning for tomorrow so tomorrow will not come so we have to be mature and we have to be careful otherwise the idea of uh, uh, you know uh, you know being dependent on destiny will really destroy your future and your present because my present is based on destiny and my future is based on destiny so I do not need to fix it it's fine you know what I mean <clears throat> so I don't know if you like the idea you know if you like it give us a like and I'm sure someday will not like it that's no problem is it true that destiny comes from God well exactly I don't know if you watch from the beginning I said clearly that God have nothing to do with destiny uh, like we can use the same word in Christianity but it have different meaning from what people understand as an example uh, uh, it is my destiny you know uh, let us say to do what I'm doing now but this is not what I meant by using the word destiny it's my destiny I made a choice to come and to to try my best to teach so it's not destiny somebody wrote for me no it is my choice because still I can not to log in not to speak to you not to answer your questions it is my choice so I can say in the word destiny if the way people they mean it that is there's somebody controlling your life from away that is false that's not true God he created us he gave us a free will and this is why we will be punished and reward you know what is the point of reward and punishment if there is no destiny that's even not fear you know so like uh, it's like saying uh, the one who finished first he will get a reward but I decided already who was going to finish first so it's not his work it's me so there's no there's no justice in the idea of destiny it is silly it's stupid it's against the nature of God it's against the just God which we believe in if you if you're a person who believe in God so always we have to be careful and not to let ideas uh, being transformed into us through like generation and generation from the cave time this is very old ancient idea of destiny don't let this idea control you and deceive you uh, you can change a lot of things in your life you see as an example I will give you an example about my life uh, I left the Middle East I came to USA but who said I need to go I need to leave who is the one who made me uh, fly to USA did I receive a ticket from the sky no did I receive a passport from heaven no it's me you know I made decisions I work for it and after working for it I was able to accomplish my mission otherwise I would be still until now in the Middle East and nobody even who care if, if, if I leave or I stay <laughs> nobody care so you have to put let us say like if you look at this picture I just found this picture this person he have a backpack in his back all right so he's preparing for for something so he entered the tunnel but he knew it's a tunnel he entered by choice it's obviously it's a train tunnel he's trying to cross somewhere so it's not somebody pushing you it's not somebody controlling you it is something you do by yourself and you choose to do no matter what you are doing and this is why later you will be responsible for what you do it can cause you your death like this guy now is going here in the tunnel train tunnel and maybe the train is coming and maybe this tunnel is so narrow so the train is going to take him in his way 
so you make decisions and you cannot blame anyone for decisions you did make in some cases somebody might make decision for us but this is not destiny still it is somebody have uh, let us say the opportunity uh, to to change something happening in my life let us say i was in the army and then the president he announced war and then they sent me to the front front line one man who was sitting in the white house he decided that i will go to war but even that one is not really my destiny i did sign a contract to go to the army and i know it's an army and i know it's a dangerous job so always there is something make you go there let us say there's a draft even like you did not even sign a contract to go to to the to the army because there's a big war and they start taking everybody so is that a destiny for you no because simply uh, uh you know there's many things happen cause that war to happen and that war the fruit of that war is men die and people die this is what war is about but we can always make it fit in somewhere we can always make it we can say it's a destiny we can we can blame somebody but the fact you know those things happen always like now you see even even uh, even science today is kind of funny like when they speak about the global warming as an example uh, you know a global warming uh, they say because we are burning uh, fuel and be all because we are uh, uh, you know uh, using the source of the earth etc but I believe all those things is not really affecting the global warming even if there's a global one regardless if there is a global warming or not what is affecting the earth that this earth is uh, a very powerful piece of nature and it's full of energy and this energy is going to be a cycle movement so uh, uh, one volcano is more than all the whole earth burning things for the coming 20 years maybe just one volcano eruption so those people they are already trying to blame someone for something it's an idea it's a politician uh, it's a it's a politics is not really science and always behind this what it's called called the uh, uh, science it is it is uh, mostly it is politics because uh, you know we have something trying to accomplish from believing in something and we drive the crowd to believe in it and then we drive the crowd to believe in it then we can go and take orders and those orders will generate a lot of money like you know El Gore he was uh, uh, teaching people that you know, we need to pay uh, paint all the roofs in the in the world white especially in USA but that will make a lot of money for paint companies. So obviously, he is just trying to promote such a business by fabricating such an idea, which is going to solve the global warming, which is stupid and you know only naive. We, we, we think about it. So they promote an idea, they push it, and then they make it sponsored by science, and then by by time people adopt that idea, and this is this is a history repeating itself. You know. Just a few weeks ago, I made a video on Instagram about uh, in the news, they are talking about ice age is coming. It's possible in by the year, by 10 years from now, we will have ice age. So we will have ice age or we will have global warming. But they are talking about, so every, you know, everyone, he give you in direction because simply there's a propaganda. I told you one of the first jobs I took before in my life when I was, studying my law degree uh, is to fix uh, a grammar in uh, a newspaper before they publish it I have to read and we have to fix it's not only me like we are a group of uh, people uh, and uh, for a few months the articles was trying to convince the the readers that tea is the most dangerous drink ever to drink don't drink tea. Tea because it causes this. Tea causes that. Coffee is a lot better. Blah 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 blah. Then after a few months, the newspaper switch. Suddenly they are talking about the opposite, that the most dangerous is coffee. So I asked the editor, "What is this is about?" He said, "Well, whoever pays, we know we write for his benefit." 
<laughs> you know, it's not the tea, it's not the coffee. And the poor reader, he think, and they put for you the names of doctors in the articles, and the name for you scientific centers in Japan, which obviously nobody knows even where, where, where they are. So they fabricate news just to for for the sake of a propaganda to make you buy tea or to buy the opposite uh, product. And you as a human being reading those news, you think those are people serious and you take it serious. You see here where it says how to lose weight, how to lose weight, big business, billions, you know. So all of those things is just to control. This is this is the destiny of being a fool, if we can say. If you are a fool, you let somebody else think for you and decide for you and control your behavior. That is the only destiny I see. Somebody taking advantage of the foolish one of us. And because we are a fool, we don't want to think, and somebody else, he think for us. And then we pay the price. You know what I mean? So uh, uh, there is no such a thing. You have to be smart. You have to be vigilant. You have to be careful. Otherwise, they want to take your money. They want to take your freedom. If they, if they can, they will take your liver, trust me. Even your liver have a price. Is that true? <laughs> there is many scams. I heard many scams. Like you go to take to countries, they will send you a girl. She is so beautiful and the stupid idiot guy. Uh, you know, uh, she wanna take him. Out. Do you wanna go out for a coffee? He says yes. You wanna go to my apartment? He says yes. She's very beautiful. You know, like like wow. He go there. She put something for him in the coffee. He he open his eyes and he find that his liver is is gone. Actually, if he's not dead already. You know what I mean? So is that your destiny or this is your foolishness? Which one it was? Is it your foolishness or your destiny that uh, someone you met just because she is wearing a short skirt and she have nice legs, you go to her place and, you know, your, your tongue is coming out like a dog and then you die. So we have to be smart, everything around us. There is, there is, a, there is people who they look like a human, but they are evil, they are... Uh, they are worse than the devil so don't depend in what it's called destiny depend in your you know God he gave you a brain to use it otherwise why God want to give us a brain actually if we have a destiny <laughs> you know what I mean we have destiny that's it destiny it's like the train is going in the track and that's it so God gave you a brain for a reason to use it to make decision Jesus said that from the, from their fruits you shall know them so if the fruit is not their fruit, so how we will know them? If this is the, this is, if this is not their fruit, if the, because if you believe in destiny, then the, those people they did not do any fruits, because it's the destiny who did the fruits. You know what I mean? But he said that from their fruits you shall know them, and their fruit present who they are. If the fruit is destiny made by God, then those people have no fruit. This is the fruit of God, the one who made them do those fruits. This is why I believe strongly, uh, you know, uh, destiny is immature belief for immature people. Once your liver is removed, you cannot wake up. Stop joking, my, my brother. No, you can. I mean, who said that to you, my friend? There's many people that they, they donate their liver. That's very silly of you to say. If if the doctor did, you know, they make the surgery and they tie you up again, you will live. You know, who said you will not wake up? You are being silly. Somebody, I think you are being confused about your heart and your liver. It's not your. <laughs> no, you will wake up if they remove your liver. That's very silly. Uh, anyway, uh, but you have to be careful. I have to be smart, and uh, yeah, actually, I mean, oh, hold on, liver in English, liver is the kidney. What isn't it the same? Hold on, yeah, I mean, the kidney, the steal your kidney, actually, yeah, all right, kidney, kidney, yeah, to make it more simple. So, anyway, um. Uh, you have to be responsible for what you do, what you say. And uh, uh, 
if you are not smart people will take advantage of you and you are a fool then you can blame destiny if you want you know have a, a kidney is not the liver you know I thought maybe liver is the same this is my mistake then in English okay it's kidney yeah this is what they see right anyway uh, we have to be careful a human being always is very foolish it's very easy to be deceived very easy to uh, uh, to be controlled um, if you if you look around you at what you do, what you buy what you what you wear what you do you will find most of the things you have in your life they are not there because you really you need them they are there because just somebody made you buy them women as an example you will see a woman she have 40 shoes like why why a woman she need 40 shoes what is exactly what do you need why what 40 shoes for how many shoes we need to walk with so we do things we do things uh, and sometimes we think it is willingly but if this is the destiny I agree if the destiny that I am a fool and then somebody control me by commercial or by media or because I'm jealous from my friends and I want to dress like them or do like them uh, if this is your destiny this is a destiny of foolishness you know right otherwise uh, how do we verify information what is your thought process like well depend on the information any but, but you know today you are lucky we have the internet it's very easy to search and to find and you can find official let us say uh, as an example somebody says to me this medicine is good for etc thing I will go and I will read what this medicine is about there is many as of reviews of people they have no benefit of it you know I mean to, to fool me and there is people who try it you have you have to uh, you see that the, the funny thing is that we are not the first generation in this earth which means always there is somebody was before us many generation and history repeat itself so like do I need really to verify that smoking is bad until now people smoke do I need to verify that the drugs is bad? Until now, people take drugs. I mean, there's things that's very, you know, it's very, um, you do not need to be genius to, to, to make decision about it. Still, people, they do the opposite. Right? So we have to be smarter from, from uh, you know, just because they show you in the beach somebody dry, uh, smoking a cigarette. I remember when I was a kid, they show you a guy like Malboro. A guy riding the horse in the beach, and the girl she look at him, and he's smoking a cigarette, and the girl the girl is a blonde, and the guy is a cowboy, and everybody want to be the cowboy, and everybody want to be that girl from the from the ladies. So uh, uh, everybody want to smoke now. If you if you remember, I made a video in uh, in my other account, uh, Quality of Life, about self confidence. Anyone remember that video? There's a guy who made a video about self confidence, how to be self confidence. According to this guy, you put a leg in the top of the other one and you sneak a cigarette, that will make you self-confident. You see how shallow, how stupid? According to this guy, he's talking about a guy in the movie. So he is taking an example from a movie, which is a very stupid movie, and it is not real. Like James Bond, James Bond, he had any woman, any woman, she go in his bed right away. She, she had all women who meet James Bond, they have no panties. You know? So very shallow thinking and if those people who will think for you I mean how fool you are if you go and watch his video you will you will die laughing if you wear certain clothes that's mean you are self-confident that's that's silly that's stupid what this have to do with the you know so is the bent we learn and what we learn if we if we if we have a teacher who he himself is a fool so what do you expect from the followers and why you need even to be a follower to teach you about what is wise to do you know 
self-confidence is something you feel inside you it's not somebody you can teach you I cannot teach you how to be self-confident that's a lie nobody can teach you how to be to be to be to become self-confident because it's called self-confident it's not something it's not about how to learn how to swim it's about learning about yourself and your ability and what make you self-confident is your success if you success first time then second time then third time then here we go you learned about yourself that I'm successful so you feel stronger and you feel self confident but if you are a very smart person but first time you did not succeed second time you are gonna succeed third time you did not succeed fourth time let us say you are a scientist trying to discover something you know so then by time you will lose your confidence in yourself because if success never come then you might give up so self-confidence is about you giving up or not you trust that you can do it or not as simple as that but in their videos is about what you wear about the cigarette in your hand about the way you sit and the shoes you wear that because they are still you know shallow and stupid you know what I mean so when you are shallow you say stupid things and you believe in stupid things and somebody else will make you believe like you know uh, I saw an, uh, an article uh, some, somebody sent me the article that women they can be uh, they feel confident if they wear sexy underwear I mean look at this stupidity what sexy underwear have to do with confident she nobody even see it <laughs> what your panty have to do with being confident I mean, do you see the madness? Instead of saying, be educated, uh, learn more research, study, uh, read more books, you know, no, uh, wear sexy underwear. That will make you confident. Because they don't want the women to be a smart person. They want the women to be a, a, a shallow person. You know, this is this is what make you confident. Like, a shorter skirt red shoes and panty and that make you self-confident maybe that will make her feel that she is pretty okay no problem but what does this have to do with confidence confidence what kind of confidence we're talking about and especially the article is talking about being successful in business what what is that other article is advising women to grow hair under their arm because that will make them feel like they are equal to men Eh? what does that mean I mean this is the most stupid thing ever what is that what hair under the arm have to do with with the being uh, successful and self-confident that what will make the women equal to the man growing hair yeah because if you shave hair that's mean you are trying to be a female you what about to change your gender make her a male anyway <laughs> so anyway you know when you are shallow you come with shallow ideas, stupid ideas. And if you adopt stupid ideas, you have a stupid country. I just I just posted a video to, uh, yesterday, I think, uh, about a policeman in California arresting uh, a guy because he's eating a sandwich in the platform. Imagine if you eat a sandwich in the platform in the train, uh, you get arrested. But in California, they legalize abortion, they legalize drugs <laughs> so you can take a drugs in the street but you cannot take a sandwich you know what I mean welcome to California so this is what happened when you are uh, you know like shallow they have everything wrong everything in the wrong place they're confused you know Yeah, marijuana is, is legal, abortion is legal. And then if you eat a sandwich in the platform of the train, I mean, the guy is eating a sandwich. Why do you want to arrest him? I mean, give me the reason. What is the risk this guy is doing if he's eating a sandwich waiting for a train? What is that? <laughs> Why he cannot eat a sandwich? <laughs> you know, what is, what, what's wrong with those people? So sometimes it's hard to believe that even there is such a way of thinking but a human being is crazy uh, sometime and when crazy madness is adopted to be 
the social belief. Imagine the whole society adopt stupidity. All of it. So you can imagine what kind of life we will have. And this is the dangerous about, about this. This is why we need to fight against stupidity. The guy eating a sandwich, he is risky. This is really what, are you serious? I understand they are against guns, but I can't understand that they are against eating sandwiches. So where he can eat the sandwich? What does that mean? If in the platform he cannot eat the sandwich, can he eat it in the train? <laughs> what is that? Ah, uh, Lord have mercy. And you know this is why, like we have to, we have to to uh, to think carefully about uh, a smarter generation, where they are not under the influence of of a hippie mind, where you know you live as hippie, you die as hippie, and you are careless. And then they start making law from the middle of nowhere, and those law is just just to disturb our life, and just to oppose things which was the right things to do, and then they make their law is the right thing to do. Like if you say you are a Christian, you are insulting them. If you have a cross, you are insulting them. If you have a church, you are insulting them. If you use the word God, you are insulting them. And yet they speak about the freedom of speech. So obviously. They are the one who believe that freedom of speech should should be opposed because you are saying to me you will not allow me to use my freedom of speech and believe only you can practice your free so you see this is this is kind of a, a another weird propaganda agenda and always always there's somebody try to use that so destiny is no different really from those from liberalism because liberalism be, make make it as if it's your destiny not to eat a sandwich in the train because somebody is an idiot he decided to make a law like this which is silly law but this law we can be changed all what people need is to vote against the stupidity and this law will go so this is not destiny we can change it you know what i mean even though they they make it look big and strong and powerful soviet union one they used to control you know the most powerful country in this earth it's called you know the uh, Soviet Union and somebody might say who can change that right it it can be changed everything can be changed and Soviet Union is gone so state like California have a stupid leadership this leadership can be changed if you if you are able to make people uh, you know think carefully and rethink about what they taught them through because in California the problem schools uh, uh, TV stations everything is controlled here we go Google like now Google is updating their terms and conditions right why because they are going to terminate any account which is not agreeing with the socialism and you will see that I will not be surprised if they if they do that to me I don't know if you see that you know each time you open your uh, you know they will delete millions of accounts and they are this is their decision any account which which they think it's not useful so they are the one who decide who is useful or not you see the dictatorship so they will decide who is useful who is not it's not you who think it's not the crowd it's not doesn't matter how many people listen to you no it is somebody sitting in san francisco in the silicon valley eating a sandwich in his disc and he decide that your channel is not worth it and he make an X on it and he delete it and they will do that just uh, you know a few days ago uh, uh, you know uh, I receive an, an email from them which is very funny and very silly but I used to them this they are always like this nothing changed All right so be careful my friend don't let them control you and never give up be strong with your belief and God gave you a gift so use it and the one who don't use what God he gave him it is his fault it is not destiny all right it is not destiny it's like you being in the desert and you say it's a desert there's no water but how you know maybe if you dig 
down in the sand you find some water maybe you find some food maybe you can hunt something so either you say it's a destiny I will die it's destiny I will live or you will say I am now exist and I'm going to make it better and I will not let them get take me down because there's many people will be benefiting from your destiny belief so you will not give you will give up you will not resist them and you will not fight back because this is what destiny is about you give up you don't fight back and you don't resist and then they are the winners and you are the loser all right so think carefully be smart and don't let them control you I'm not going to keep you longer I hope you have a good time with this uh, uh, you know little bit of uh, you know chat together and uh, uh, I pray that people they they will always think about what they have as a gift from God and they will use it carefully be smart and don't be shallow never be shallow because you know when somebody always think for you your brain will not even improve your brain will not grow you see the the the, the key of being smart is it's about using your brain there's somebody decide to use the brain and then the more you use it the more this brain practice you know thinking so you became a thinker or you are a person who don't like to use a brain and then your brain is lazy and this is not even almost not exist your brain only function like to do normal things like to go to the bathroom like I feel now I had to go to the bathroom my brain is telling me all right uh, so your brain will become basic because you decide to kill your brain and to stay in the basic or you decide to use it and improve it and the more you use it this brain will uh, will, will will improve itself will be smarter the more you think and I, I you know I adv advise people to read because reading especially when you are young reading when you are young is like really a reform of yourself your brain your brain because at that time especially when you are young your brain can take a lot it's like fresh empty you know so try to read something useful and even if the things you read is maybe it's fiction even that can be useful for you in the future because fictions sometime can help us to make what is fiction real you know what I mean like you have a dream to build a house and that house is a fiction now in your head how it is going to be all the things we see happening today one day it used to be fiction like a spaceship it was if you go if you go a long time ago you will see movies making movies about spaceship but before they may have a spaceship uh, about uh, TV screen and before they have TV screen so it's like you know all those fictions it was an idea one day human being is very powerful so if you believe in an idea and you decide to work for it most likely you will be able to accomplish that idea but if you believe that it is destiny then what is fiction will stay fiction and what is destiny will destroy you and will make you limited all right so be careful from this idea thank you for being here guys I will try tomorrow to go live on air if I can and tomorrow maybe we will be in the other account which you know where it is don't forget to subscribe to my other account you will find them in the previous videos the link there just subscribe and join us may the Lord bless you until we see you soon again Christ is Lord and everything everything around us is a gift from God not gift from man so enjoy the gift and don't believe in destiny they believe in gift and gift is to be used and not to be abused take care and god bless bye bye